Hey guys and welcome to another video of Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro 11 which is the new version of the Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro fantastic software and I love this as you know if you're looking at this video I know that you like it too and in this video I'm going to talk about one of the new option which is the new the mosaic technology that has been added to the software and how to use it pros and cons and when it is not available but before i go to the details uh, i'd like to thank you for uh, to whoever been supporting me via patreon or time to time to paypal donations very sweet of you and i also have an instagram account if you want to go and check it out uh, i do post photos time to time as digital or analog um, yeah, it would be nice. Now, let's jump into the actual video, which is, is all about, which is the new, um, the demosaicing engine. So it calls Clearview. Now, what is the Clearview and is it better than the old one? Let's find out. So if I go to this particular photo, for example, or maybe the, um, this one. Now, you can clearly see in the middle, the clear view is by default available. Now, thing is, if you are a Fuji film user, then that won't be available. I'm gonna go to one of the Fuji file. Let's see, probably this one is a Fuji file. There you go. In If you have the Fuji camera, uh, this won't be available. So it will be by default standard. Now, that's probably not a bad news because let me remind you, Fuji is an excellent camera already, an excellent system in general. You don't really need a special uh, software technology to improve sharpness. Um, so I'm not really worried about those who are using um, a Fuji camera, sincerely. Now, uh, there's another little thing about this particular uh, demosaicing engine, which is the improvement of sharpening. For example, this image, so I'm gonna put it next to each other, for example. Now I'm going to close all the windows so that we have a better view. And now I'm going to change the one on the left into standard. Now, to be clear, this one is standard and this is the clear view. Now, in a standard, um, distance they both look almost same but if you zoom in to 100% huge difference so again remind you this is the standard and that's the clear view so I mean you can clearly see pretty distinct differences between each other which means in the clear view you actually extract really a lot of um, details which is pretty amazing now Let's go to another example, just to be more clear. I'm gonna go back and now let's put it side by side. Put the new photo. Now we're gonna go back to the standard. So what I did again. Now this one on the right hand side is the standard, is the clear view. Again, I repeat clear view. And this one is the standard. Now. Look at the details. I mean, quite sharp, quite nice. Um, that means that you can do nice prints. If you are looking for printing your images, you should get a lot of details. Now, here is the important part. The downside of Clearview. If you have a noisy image, then Clearview might give you uh, also a lot of uh, more noise, which means that more details means everything, more details of everything, which means if you have a noise, it will amplify the noise. So that's not a good news. In that case, you have two options. Option number one, reduce the amount of demosaicing sharpening. Option number two, change to standard. There you go. So there it is a new quick rapid uh, video about demosaic sharpening. Um, I hope this video has been very helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, you know that I'm always active. I always respond to all of your questions. And if you have something else to add 
in this particular video that I did not mention. Again, more than welcome to comment below and I will pin it. Look after yourself. Bye-bye.